Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry. He's Scott Carter, and we're here to preview Saturday's game between the Florida Gators and the Alabama Crimson Tide. It's Florida's SEC road opener coming off last week's 36-30 triple overtime victory over Kentucky. And Scott, Will Muschep has been saying all along that this is the most talented, the deepest team that he's had to date. I guess we're going to see just how talented and how they match up against a team like Alabama, who is the perennial power of the SEC for the last five or six seasons. Yeah, I mean, Alabama is clearly uh, Florida's biggest test so far this season. On the road, a place uh, they haven't been since 2010. And the last time they were up there, they obviously lost 31-6. Uh, to six. But really, when you look at it, Alabama, they kind of took over the SEC in 2009 with that championship game win up in Atlanta. The Gators have beaten them the year before. And, you know, this game is very cyclical. And right now, Alabama has been the program to beat in the SEC for the last five or six years. And now it's Florida's turn. Are they going to... Uh, kind of get back into the elite of the SEC. This is a great opportunity for them to uh, see if they can do that. And I do think just from talking to people and you know reading some of the national media, I think people, you know, the talent gap there has closed. And, uh, you know, uh, there's expectations of a pretty good game on Saturday in Tuscaloosa. One of the takeaways from the win over Kentucky, uh, defensively the Gators gave up a bunch of yards and there were some mistakes in the secondary, some blown coverages and what have you. That can't happen against a receiver like Amari Cooper. He may be the best wide out in the country. Yeah, you look at this guy in the first uh, three games for Alabama, 33 catches, 454 yards. That's pretty impressive through three games. The Gators feel good, though. They have a guy back in the secondary who's pretty good at coverage in Vernon Hargraves. You're going to see him matched up on uh, Amari Cooper some. And the mistakes you pointed out last week, they did give up, uh, I think it was six big plays for 173 yards. They're obviously going to have to cut those back some. And, uh, you know, just from listening to the coaches talk this week, Will Muschamp, DJ Dirk, and they're going to, you know, correct some of those things. They think they were correctable communication issue problems. And, uh, you know, those happen. But against Alabama, this is an offense, even though they have a first-year quarterback in Blake Sims, they have a lot of talent around him. And uh, Cooper, TJ Yeldon, Derrick Henry in the backfield. I mean, there's just a lot of dangerous weapons. And uh, they're going to have to identify those guys each play and make sure that, you know, they limit their production uh, to come out of Tuscaloosa with a uh, win. Offensively, the Gators have been very balanced in their first two games uh, run to pass. But, here comes an Alabama defense, which is only allowing 47 yards rushing per game, and has only allowed one touchdown in three games so far. Yeah, this is your typical Alabama defense. Big, strong, physical. You're going to have to be balanced to beat this group. When you give up 47 yards rushing, I mean, you're going to have to have some plays in the passing game. But also, Florida has shown some consistency in the balance of the offense through these first two games, averaging 593 yards a game. So they're moving the ball. And when they do Saturday at Alabama, they're going to have to make sure they cash in on some of those plays. Maybe some of the big throws that Jeff Fiskel missed and obviously get Kevin Taylor, Matt Jones, really the entire offense involved to, uh, to find some room to operate against Alabama's defense because they, don't, they do not give up much and they don't give up much at home. Overall, a great barometer game for the Florida Gators who head to Tuscaloosa, one of the great venues in all of college football. For Scott Carter, I'm Chris Harry. See you at Gator Zone next time.